stuff. You just want to test at work, don't you? <laughs> no problem. I'm, I'm going to show an app to you on how to test on your computer, any computer. And you can do this on your, your Android phones, your Apple phones, and all these browsers you see here. And once you go to pushbullet.com, you can just select one of the icons on whichever device you're on, and it'll take you straight to a link on how to download the app or the add-on to your web browser. But for Android and Apple devices, uh -uh, well, Apple phones and Android phones, you just gotta go to your app store and download it. And you can also, if you have a Windows computer, you can select the Windows icon to download the app right on your computer. And once you get the app on all your devices, you can then sync your text messages and do a lot more. I'll break, break that down for you in a minute. But what you just saw, you just saw me install the app on my computer. But I'm going to show you one thing I don't like about the app on the computer. Because you can just use the app via the web browser so you don't have to download the app. So the thing I don't like about downloading the app on your directly on your Windows computer is the, I don't know, it's kind of bulky. I don't like the style of it. And plus, I don't like all the, you know, it's taking up space. So I prefer and I recommend just use the web browser of your choice. Open up the add-on there, and if you hit the arrow in the top right-hand corner, you can still open up a window. So you can close the browser and still test with this window. So this, <laughs> this is what's gonna come in handy in the workplace. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna lie, I found this trying to test at work myself. But you can do other stuff besides just text. You can send files, pictures, music, whatever you like, to other devices you sync or you install the add-on or the app onto. So I installed it on my phone and even with this, this thumbnail you saw in this video, I used this, this option to go back and forth because I had programs on my phone that I can't use on my laptop. And there will be notifications in the app or the add-on itself and also on your computer. But you can go to the settings and just set it however you like. So if you like me, you don't send, you don't like send all those pop-ups. I recommend turn off the notifications because it will notify you about every app in your phone if you don't change the settings. And one thing I will point out that I believe is useful for those who like more privacy in the advanced option, you can set a password. So even if somebody had access to your Google account, they still need a password to open up your push bullet account okay if you have any questions just leave me a comment much love to each and every one of you guys i'm your downloading pirate and i'm out pirate nation what is going on y'all man i still <laughs> i don't know how many y'all keep up with this but every time i do this i feel like i always say i can't believe we still doing this but if you if you're new to this this is the credits portion of the video the names you see in white are people who donated to my paypal and cash out accounts in the past and the names you're about to see were the name you're about to see in blue this time is someone who donated recently and they do this on their own will guys i never asked for this so i take time out whenever someone donates to bring back this list and show my appreciation for you so kathleen thank you thank you for donating and thank you to everyone, whoever supported me, whoever liked a video, shared the video to, to their family. We're all in this together, y'all. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you.